In this video, we are going to update the firmware of your Wasega Labs device. And I'm going to be working with the IP paging zone controller with VoIP, but this is the same method you're going to use for other Wasega products, including the access control intercom and the IP audio encoder decoder. Starting at wasega.com, you're going to go to resources and then downloads. On the downloads page, you'll have all of the firmware revisions for every Wasega product. The landing page is actually going to show you one of the intercoms, but today I'm working with the IP paging zone controller with VoIP, so I'm going to choose that from the pull down menu, and then I'll see the versions here, previous versions and then the latest version. I'm going to click on the download link for the latest version, and then I'll have a zip file that downloads to my computer. In this zip file, we actually have two files. One is the bin file that's your actual firmware revision, and then we also have the user guide in PDF form that's going to download with that, just in case you need it for what you're doing. I do want to make sure I extract that zipped file because I can't upload a zipped file to my device. But now that I've done that, I've got that downloaded, I'm going to go into my device and enter my IP address here and I'll be prompted for my username and password. I'm still using the default admin and admin. Log in and head over to the management page. Under the management page, you will have configuration options and firmware system update options. We're not gonna go into system configuration right now. We just wanna focus on firmware. Right now, my version is 1.3.0, ends in 1.8, and that is now the most up-to-date, so I'm gonna choose a file and update. Now, if I choose to press the update firmware key or accidentally press it before I choose a file, I do get an error message. No big deal. Go back, select the management tab again, and choose your file. Go into my downloads, select that unzipped folder, and select the bin file here. Click update firmware, and it will tell you that it's updated. Two things to make sure, again, can't emphasize enough, to make sure you're using the unzipped version, number one. And number two, make sure that it says .bin right here, uh, and that'll be the, the right file. If it doesn't say .bin, uh, it's gonna try to upload it, you'll get an error message, you'll have to try again. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner of my Chrome browser, I see my upload progress, and then I get a new page that says, please wait, it's uploaded, but now it has to update, verify, and then restart the device. As I'm looking at the progress, I see we've updated the primary firmware already. We have verified the primary firmware, updated the backup firmware, we're verifying the backup firmware, and then it, we're gonna be prompted to restart the device. This all happens automatically, but you will be prompted for your username and password again. In just a few seconds, I will see that prompt and we'll be good to go. So authentication required, username admin, password admin, Log on in, oops. Log in, go to my management tab, double check, yep, it's no longer 1.8, it's now 2.1, and my system has been updated, my firmware is up to date.